Hello friends, welcome to Building the Alpha Dory. Today we're going to be working on the bottom bevels and we're going to be getting ready to put on the first of the garboard planking. So let's get out into the shop and get to work. So, you may be able to hear the uh, rain just pouring down out there. It's really, uh, really getting a soaking. Actually, the uh, weather has cooled off a lot from the past uh, couple days. We're up in the uh, we're up in the uh, high 90s there for a good three, four days. It was just pretty brutal. Not quite as bad as, uh, <clears throat> as what they've been having out on the west coast. But, uh, pretty nasty. So. extension cord. So I'm just swapping out the, uh, the drill from my uh, high power electric, which is uh, made in Illinois. No fault of its own because I rewired it. But the last time I used it, it uh, gave me quite a jolt. And I think it's because, uh, like I said, I rewired it. And the wire feels really loose in the handle. I rewired it probably uh, 12 years ago or so. 10 years ago. Something's kind of loose uh, until I get the chance to figure out what's wrong with it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get zapped again. So all right. So I've got the garboard on the uh, floor here. I went ahead and, and uh, Cooper and all this garbage. So it's at this point in the build where if we were building an old timey New England bank story or Swamp skit dory or whatever, that we'd uh, begin caulking the boat. So we'd run a strand of caulking along uh, we'd run a strand of caulking along the stem here where the plank touches it and we would also run that same strand back along the uh, edge of the uh, bottom and we'd use a little tiny uh, little tiny brads to tack it in place and uh, just before we put the plank on, we hit it with some paint and then nail the plank on there. We're going to fiberglass the bottom on this boat. 
So we uh, can move happily on a trailer. Uh, and uh, and then doing so. So we're going to eliminate the need for the uh, docking by doing that. I'm not sure how it even popped off of that here. You know, I guess like that. Alright, well. The problem was I tried to tighten up the, uh, the front handle of the clamp screw instead of tightening the back and I just didn't get it tight enough with my hand. So you gotta tighten the back if you want it to really bite. I'll use the leverage of the clamp to get a grip on the wood. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I can still see the uh, pencil line that I drew as to where the bottom is supposed to be. Putting this on here. And what I don't want to do is like distort the plank in the putting on. So I want to make sure that it's laying on there happily. And it's not twisting and pulling away from anywhere. See, it's it's starting to pull away a little bit right here already. Now some of that is because of the because there's twist as it comes forward. So you know the nails can do quite a bit of pulling in, but you just don't want to you don't want to distort the plank and build some sort of weird stresses into it. Better. I'm checking the heights of the plank when I reach my hand underneath. I'm feeling the bottom of the boat and then I'm feeling the amount of overlap of the uh, garbage plank below the bottom of the boat. And what I really want to do is get this garbage about as high as I can get it at the bow and the stern for sure because that's the widest points on the garbage and that's where uh, okay so this is pulling nicely here and uh, so this is also where I can use the kick sticks to uh, make sure that I don't have any extra plank. Okay, yeah, that's coming in nice. And the, the other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to belly. That when you push the belly up, it like, you know, bows out somewhere else because if something's more curved rather than less curved, it's actually longer as well. So if you clamp it on two ends and you got a bow in the middle and then you go and try to pull that in, you're going to find out that the plank is really fighting it because it's going to be pushing out on either end. So I've got to probably, uh, uh, well, almost half an inch of overlap. Overhang, not quite actually, but close to it. That's good. We already 
sort of trim this plank to the shape of the boat when we when we lay that uh, stern now, the, uh, the plank isn't quite overlapping the bottom, which means I need to come down a little bit here, and that will bring the stern down. So, and I'll leave the bow tight where it is. I'll undo the uh, kick stick. So I'll leave, leave the bow where it is and just bring this down a tiny bit. That's the idea. Okay, now I've got a half inch of overlap. And there is, you can see there is some up and down movement. There's probably, I got three quarters of an inch of play before I start to actually deform the plank out of shape. use a kick stick here because it was bowing out a little bit when I was pulling that in. This will keep it nice and tight right in here. So another kick stick is going in back here. Yeah, that's coming in. Let's push it in nicely there. And I can put this kick stick back in here. Alright, so I'll show you show you what we're talking about. So here's the kick sticks. And that's just applying pressure down along this seam because it's really you know you don't have a clamp that'll get in there. And what would you clamp to anyway? I suppose you could clamp around the edge of the frame maybe, but then even so you're not applying pressure down here. So yeah, these sticks are great. You really need a wood floor to use these uh, successfully. 
a, a heavy plank floor, um, you know, concrete, they're not going to do it. And uh, dirt, they really don't work well either because they'll just, you know, drive into the earth. You won't be able to get a really good lock on them. And here you can see what little gap there is at the transom will pull in really easily with uh, with ring nails. You can see I can just move that in by hand. So that'll uh, you know that'll pull in as we move up along the transom, one ring nail after another. And uh, what I think I'm going to do, typically you'd start uh, nailing down along the stem. I think I'm going to get a couple nails into the pine here, tighten this up, and then I'm going to go into the oak here and bring this in. Because when you bring this in, it pulls this away ever so slightly. I think if I get it tight into the pine with the ring nails first, then the oak will have enough bite to really, uh, really be able to sink those nails and have them hold. So. Alright, so we're right. The edge of the garboard plank, bottom edge, is just flush with the bottom as we come up to the stem here. There's uh, you know, no overlap. So that's just about perfect there. And um, yeah, I'm sighting down along the plank. We already checked it at the stern. We look good down there. So what you want to do is you want to make sure, like, take your time to get this plank just right. Because once you put in three nails, and they're ring nails, they're not going to come out. You're going to have to cut through them to get them out. <laughs> once you put in three nails, you're pretty much not going to be able to adjust the plank after that. You know, you might, be able, you might get a little tweaking down the end, but uh, you know, once this thing goes on, it's on there. And it's uh, it's not gonna move, so you gotta get it, you gotta get it how you want it the first time. All right, so I got my hammer. Just knocked out my kick stick. That is the uh, sort of the, uh, the Achilles heel of the kick sticks. Is they're easy to bump into and knock out. Oh, the, the plank didn't move, so we're good there. All right. Um, yeah, let's do this. So, the next thing is we're going to be putting nails into the bottom. So the next next part of the uh, production is uh, this little item here, which uh, allows you to go under the boat. There's a block in the way. Allows you to go under the boat, parallel to the, uh, to the garboard, and you can drag this up till the, till this, inside piece hits the bottom all right and then i got a couple angles here i got 90 degrees and i've got 45 degrees and i know that at this point i'm a little bit uh i'm a little bit closer to uh vertical than 45 degrees so uh but i'm definitely not at you know at a at a totally vertical, which would be the 90 degree mark. 
And what these marks mean is that's where the point of, of this piece of wood is at that angle when it hits the bottom. So that's, this mark is showing the bottom of the boat at 90 degrees. So if I wanted to put nails into a one inch thick bottom, I'd go half an inch up from this mark and put a nail in. And if I'm laid out to 45 degrees, then I'd go up this way half an inch, which is about where that little tick mark is, into a one inch bottom and put a nail in there. So we're somewhere between 90 and 45. So if I put a uh, if I put a nail in right around the 45 degree tip, then uh, that, that should be going into the bottom. I'll grab a uh, pencil so that I can mark it and then drill it. Uh, all right, so if we were at 45 degrees, this would be where the bottom is, but we aren't. We're somewhere between 45 and 90, so that's where the bottom is. So I can put a nail in, you know, right at or just above the 45 degree. Uh, bevel and it should go it should go into the bottom and to a large degree you can even do this with your fingers that that piece of wood though it's just a nice visual so. So we just put a hole in the boat. Now we're going to take a uh, ring nail and we're going to fill it. And I'm using uh, using my regular hammer. Sore, that's for sure. You hear that going into the pine? There's no split out anywhere. Now, Whale at home. I took that in nice and tight.
Make sure nothing moved. This clamp is loose. The bottom still where it's supposed to be. And so what you'll see, you'll see what we'll do is uh, when we get all these in and uh, when we get the boat turned over we may even uh, go at these again just to sink those deeper but that's uh, that's good enough for the moment. Uh, it's nice and tight. Let's put a few more in there before she goes anywhere and uh, will be good. Yeah, so I'm, uh, all right, that's about as far forward as we're going to have to go. And I'm trying to get these low and then angled slightly upward. I'm not going to be able to get these nails at a right angle to the plank. No way. Because I'll be driving the nail up, in, in, up through the floor of the boat. But what I'm trying to do is get a little bit of an angle on them up into the uh, stardom low. And then uh, go up into the wood as much as possible. And it's a little bit tricky using the uh, using the stick when the uh, where the where the bed is in the way. So you know, you just do what you can. I'm having to. Uh, Start the drill at a little bit of an angle, otherwise it will run off the wood. So these are going in pretty easily into the uh, pretty easy into the pie. And you can see as the nail takes up the uh, plank, the kick stick is actually loosening up because that nail is taking the pressure off the kick stick. You know, the kick stick was doing what the nail is now doing, which is holding that plank tight to the bottom of the boat. And 
now I'm driving these nails home into the plywood. All right. Couple more up here. This is uh, nice and tight all along now. You know, there was a very small gap, which is, you know, it's gonna be, that's very, uh, very typical. It only takes a few pounds of pressure to bring that in nice and tight. So, uh, yeah, it's looking good. See if I can uh, give you guys a slightly different, uh, slightly different view to the process. So, uh, like I said, a couple more nails right here, and then we'll be ready to move up the stem. Like I say, is typically typically what I'll do first, but uh, definitely once you get riveting, that's what you'll do first. Is you know, tack it on the stem and the stern and the frames, and then go through with the rivets. But uh, here, I think just from experience. Uh, And I'll be a little bit better off if I go into the softwood first and then pull everything tight in the hardwood. Alright, we're right up at the stem here. I'm drilling in just underneath where the stem lands on the uh, bottom. So that's as far as we need to go forward with the uh, ring nails. Driving these heads back in flat, flush with the bottom. It's looking good. All right, well, uh, yeah. Well, on our way to, uh, you can see that's the seam we just nailed right along there so yeah looking looking really good nice and tight well on our way to getting that garbage on all right well thanks for joining me building the alpha dory and uh yeah, i'm not going to put you guys through nailing the entire garbage on but uh We'll see if uh, see if next time uh, I can uh, get the stem nailed on, and then maybe we'll uh, fast forward to the transom area, seeing as uh, most of the length of the uh, bottom is pretty much the same. Anyway, uh, yeah, have a great day, and uh, God bless.